Hi guys, welcome back to my corner. Today we're in a different setting because I wanted to talk more about skincare. So if you wanna know the steps to a good skincare routine, especially for acne prone skin, then keep on watching. start off I'm not a skincare expert you know this is something that I've learned and researched through the years of doing skincare a lot of you may already have your own skincare routine and so um, this video is really targeted for newbies someone who wants to start having a good skincare routine and maybe are just starting out maybe a teenager even an adult who's really trying to find ways to improve their skin as they get older so I'm just gonna show you guys the steps that I go through and more importantly just show you the reason why so there is a reason to this madness so when i do have this kind of full face of makeup i really really need to double cleanse what i like to do is first use an oil or a balm to remove my eyes and so i like to use this clinique take the day off cleansing balm that's what it looks like right there and I like this because I feel like it's very gentle on the eyes. You know, it melts nicely into the eyes and you just need a little bit. It helps remove all of the eyeshadows that are on your eyes. So I love that. So let's go ahead. I have clean hands, by the way, guys. Step one, wash your hands. You don't wanna go into your skincare routine and not wash your hands. So start off with that so as you can see it's slowly dissolving all of the makeup and it doesn't irritate the eyes it doesn't sting the eyes get the brows if you use a lot of brow products after the balm i use a makeup remover and actually most of the time i use the neutrogena makeup remover wipes it's just easy it takes off so much makeup um when i don't have a full face of makeup on this is all i use i turn it go over my neck all right that's it i am ready to wash off the clinique cleansing balm So now I'm drying my face and I am ready to go in with cleanser. So this is the part two is go in with a cleanser and really deep clean the face. So my favorite cleanser is of course Tula. You guys heard me talk about it several times. This is the new packaging I believe. I still have the old one which I'm going to use. So I don't want to open this yet. And with my Foreo, I love having this Foreo tool. It claims to remove dirt and grime six times deeper than your regular hands would. Definitely after I use this, it makes my face like baby butt smooth. So let's go ahead and cleanse. Foreo usually beeps twice and that tells me that I am done. Uh, when my skin is having a difficult time, meaning close it. when it's breaking out and you know have a lot of um, blemishes, that's when I exfoliate. I exfoliate two to three times a week, but there are more gentle exfoliators if you want to exfoliate daily. So step one in skincare, we've done the cleansing. You can double cleanse if you'd like, depending on how much makeup or how dirty you feel like your face is. And then step two is exfoliation. As an everyday exfoliation, I use Proactive Skin Smoothing Exfoliator. And this is what it looks like. It has a lot of beads, but it is safe for every day. And um, this proactive exfoliator actually has the benzoyl peroxide. You want to be proactive about your skincare. So before the blemishes come out, you need to be already ready for it. And it helps it heal while it's still underneath the skin. So exfoliation is key, at least for acne prone skin. I'm going to wash this off. Okay. 
so ignore the wet clothes um next step is toner so after you've exfoliated your skin's ph balance is a little off so what is ph balance your skin is made up of fatty acids amino acids from sweat and everything like that and so a combination of that makes up your skin's ph balance so your skin is usually very dry and really stripped of all its moisture after cleansing and especially after exfoliating so the toner kind of helps restore that ph balance i use toner for about three things to get rid of the extra impurities that the cleanser didn't really clean off it helps restore the moisture back into the skin and of course restore the ph balance into your skin so for toner i am currently using thayer's I love Thayer's because the witch hazel kind of removes that excess sebum on your skin especially if you have acne prone skin removing those unwanted oils in a way after toner is your essence essence is more of a korean skincare routine for the longest part i haven't been using essence but after doing some research it's an essential step to your skincare. Essence marks the beginning of your skincare routine. And when I talk about skincare, it's all of your serums, um, moisturizers. Basically what Essence does is it refreshes the skin, opens up the pores so that your skincare products will go into the skin a lot better. So I have the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. Um, the anti-pollution age delay essence and so it has some anti-aging benefits it has some anti-pollution and that just means you know kind of protecting your skin from environmental damage I was taught to pour it onto the hands and just press it into the face it's not sticky it is not oily it is not thick it's very watery it gets your skin ready for actually the essential steps in your skincare routine um i guess the best term to use is it primes your face you know when you prime before makeup that kind of thing so just getting your face ready for a better makeup application then in this case essence is your primer before your skincare routine next step is for me because i have acne prone skin i use acne medication and today i am going to use la rose jose duo action acne treatment i have one here this one is actually drying out already but also i like to put it everywhere on my chin or in my acne prone areas And I do that for prevention. The next step are your serums. So serums are the expensive type of skincare where it has more complex ingredients and you pick the serums that you need depending on the type of skin that you have. If you have dry skin, you pick a hydrating serum. If you have acne prone skin, you might want one that clarifies the skin, brightens the skin, kind of smooths out the skin if you have texture. Today, I'm gonna use my tried and true Neutrogena a Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum because you know, mama's getting old <laughs> and mama's getting wrinkles. I love serums that have retinol ingredients but they can be really, really expensive. It's really an investment when it comes to serum. So I like to find good deals. Like today, it was buy one, get 30% off on skincare at Sephora. I'll let you know if by the time this video goes live, if that sale is still going on. Oh my gosh, I think my husband is snoring in this video the whole time. Oh, Please excuse him, but you know, this is still a home. It's not a studio, so um, let's just keep going. Okay, you know the other serum that I like to use is this itty bitty bottle of Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is just like a deluxe sample that I got in my Macy's Advent Box. It looks like this. I'll get back to you on this and do a review. It's an experience 
expensive serum. I noticed that when I use this, I noticed some peeling. So peeling might not be a good thing for most people or for some people. To me, I love it when my skin peels because I'm oily and when my skin is peeling, I feel like all that acne scarring is coming off. And so I have to see really what the ingredients are in this and get back to you. But I've been using it for a week and it has been doing some nice exfoliating. <laughs> I put two serums on. So like I said, you can put them strategically around your face, maybe a third serum on your forehead, whatever. If you're a skincare jockey like me, <laughs> go for it. But you gotta know your skin. You gotta know what works for you. You gotta know what you need. Next one after serum is eye cream. I am using my face story, me, myself, and I refreshing eye cream. I got this from facestory.com. Face story started off as mass subscription company and now they're having like skincare subscription boxes and i love that they're branching out because korean skincare is really really great i am a face story affiliate if you'd like to purchase this um, eye cream it's very hydrating very refreshing so if you use my link that will definitely help me out it's not going to increase the price for you or anything or if you don't trust me you can go to facestory.com to purchase this definitely i'd love your support and if you are comfortable using my affiliate link down below um i would greatly greatly appreciate it I love face story i love their mask and i feature them on instagram every now and then on mondays after i put on my eye cream i could go in with a facial mask you know this is like the pampering part this is just another serum that you can put on your face and masks are great because they really help push in the serums into your skin so that's what i like about it i end my skincare routine with the ultra repair face moisturizer a non-comedogenic hydrating moisturizer and it feels so good it's just a perfect end to your skincare routine whether you're oily or dry you need the moisture for your skin and then of course i need a lip balm it's not really skincare, but at the moment I'm using L'Occitane's lip balm. I've done a review on L'Occitane products, a whole lot of them actually. Um, and this is one of my favorite lip balms that I've used so far from them. I just want to give honorable mention to some other skincare products that I use in rotation. Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. This has salicylic acid, so if your skin prefers salicylic acid, um, this is great. Another daily exfoliator is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash from Philosophy. Okay, I have the small bottle. You wouldn't believe I actually own a big jug like this that I bought from Nordstrom a long time ago when it went on sale because I loved it. I loved what it did for my skin. It prevented acne. It's a gentle exfoliator similar to Proactive. So either one will work. Here's the thing. You have to be strategic with spending on skincare. I try to research a couple of brands because depending on the brand that is on sale, that's what I get. But I have to make sure that it's the brand that actually works for me. Look around, look for sales because skincare can get really expensive and alternate make sure you have another brand that you would like so when you end with one maybe another one is going to be on sale next and that would be the perfect time to buy and that way you can switch off easily without being like oh my gosh i'm all out and now i have to spend another 90 dollars on serum yeah i think that is it i will link down below all the other skincare videos that i have and also comment down below what you'd like me to review next when it comes to skincare let me know and i will try my best to give you a, an in-depth and thoughtful review on them that is it guys Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it or learn something. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos once a week on beauty reviews and skincare. So join the family and I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye!